Optoma wowed us in 2017 by releasing the first 4K UHD projector with a price that was in line with what you'd expect to pay for a relatively high-end large TV. Before that, you could expect to pay way over £5,000 for the privilege. So now that the game has moved on, what do you get when you want to spend that £5,000? Optoma thinks that the answer should be a 4K laser projector. Meet the UHZ 65. Now, if you take a quick look online, you'll see that laser projectors are not only few and far between, but they cost up to tens of thousands of pounds. So is Optoma about to change the game again? Let's find out. As you can see, the UHZ 65 has a very similar look to the UHD 60 that we've got here for our comparison. They both share the same connections and have a similar chassis, with one HDMI 2.0 and one 1.4, as well as audio in and out jacks, optical and USB connectors. The UHZ is coloured black as it's designed to be set up in a darkened home cinema room, whereas the UHD 60 is white so that it blends in with the colour of a typical ceiling in a living room. Both projectors use the excellent Texas Instruments DLP chip for their 4K image. There's another model in the range, the UHD 65, which wasn't available for this video. It sacrifices brightness for contrast ratio against the UHD 60 that we've got here. Both the UHD 60 and UHD 65 produce 3000 lumens versus the UHD 65 at 2200. We decided to still use the UHD 60. It would be interesting to see the difference when both projectors have the same brightness output, allowing us to get a real world comparison of the color and contrast without having to dial down the brightness of the laser projector. So the big difference is the laser light source. This is touted as the next big advancement in projectors, providing not only a lot more brightness across the colour range but also much longer life. Optoma rates the bulb in the UHD 60 for around 4,000 hours, whereas the laser in the UHZ 65 is 20,000 hours. That's enough for 8 hours per day for nearly 7 years. Laser is also much more controllable than a bulb, so it allows for double the contrast ratio, 2 million to 1 versus 1 million to 1, meaning deeper blacks and richer colours. So is the UHZ 65 worth double the price of a UHD 60? Let's find out. All of our footage is shot with both projectors set on the reference mode, with all lamp settings on their highest level. We shot on our studio floor, which was dimly lit, and both projectors were put side by side and projected onto the same screen. As you can see, the results are clear. Make no mistake, the UHD 60 produces a bright, colourful picture. It's easily the best projector we've tested to date, but compared to the laser-powered UHZ 65, it looks almost dull and washed out. Even though both units are rated for 3000 lumens, the laser projector produces much brighter colours and darker blacks. If you're looking to do a lot of gaming, then this is one area where the UHD 60 comes out on top, with a 33 millisecond input lag versus 80 millisecond on the UHZ 65. Although unless you were playing at a highly competitive level, it's unlikely you would notice any major difference. So there you have it, both of these projectors are absolutely superb, offering 4K UHD picture that will blow you away. Is the UHZ 65 though worth double the price of the UHD 60? Well, that will be dependent on how you intend to use it and your budget. If you've gone to the expense of outfitting a dedicated darkened cinema room with an expensive sound system and screen, then the £5,000 price tag of the UHZ 65 probably won't scare you off. And there's no denying that it produces a superior picture and won't require any bulb maintenance. If you haven't got the dedicated cinema room, then you certainly won't be disappointed with the UHD 60, and it would leave you a lot spare to spend on other equipment. If you liked our video, then don't forget to hit the thumbs up and comment telling us your thoughts. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more great videos about everything computers and tech.